It's Jose Arias, and we're, we're going back to our podcast. I'm here um, with my uh, son, Adrian. Say hi, hi, Adrian. And we haven't done a podcast in a while, but we're back to do another episode. And we want to talk about, uh, we live in Florida, so we recently had a hurricane pass through. Hurricane Irma. And I'm, we, still, I'm still um, disappointed about how they made the name. If that's Irma. Well, the, Where did the, they get the name? I don't know how they get the names, but um, apparently the... From what I know, the the female named hurricanes are the more more, more powerful ones. So, but the, they can name it anything else. The National Weather Service names names the hurricanes. I'm not sure how it works, but they name the they name the hurricanes. And um, we were pretty scared because when it was a pretty scary time, the the hurricane was the uh, from from the last time we checked was the size of Texas and it was getting bigger with um over 180 mile, uh, mile per hour that winds. Wasn't Irma, that was a different one. No, that was Irma. That was Irma. It was the size of Texas. Very big. It wasn't, it wasn't Harvey. Harvey did a lot, lot, lot of water damage, but we didn't, we didn't suffer as much water damage as they did. But they did, it didn't knock out the, the, key, the keys. So we, we, we pray for the people, people with the keys, and we, we, we hope for their recovery. And um, we had some water damage here, but not, we lost electricity for a little while. We stayed with our in-laws, and uh, Adrian played with his cousins a lot. How was that, like, Adrian? Yeah, it was fun. What did, what did you do all that time? Um, um, we were, at one point, um, I was just watching the iPad. Uh, with Lewis. Lewis, your cousin. I mean, not Lewis, Ivan. Ivan, your brother. And Lu- Ivan, I don't, Lu- I don't remember what Lewis was doing, mm-hmm. but um, I don't remember um, what he was doing, but we were just like ha- calm, and then Natalie ran upstairs and, tell- and told us the lights are flashing and get ready, and we, yeah. went, we all went straight downstairs. We started... We started- and we started to pack up. We started to pack up. We started to started to put air in the in the air mattresses. We took out the furniture from the living room and made made space for the air mattresses. And we all hungered down on the floor, and we fell asleep. We went, went to bed. We didn't go to bed that quickly. No, we didn't. We, we were a little scared. We were a little nervous. I, I have to admit that I was a little nervous hearing the howl, the winds howl and the trees shaking. The it was a little nerve rattling, but we went. We got through it, and we were, we got through it safely. Um, we were able to get some sandbags for our home. We did lose power for a little while, and we lost uh, cell, cell, cell phone power. I it think was... that, I still think when we lost power, it was like a void of darkness. Once mm-hmm. you step in the void, um, then you there's no there's no um there's no electricity. Once you step out, there is electricity. This is your second. This is your. Like... This is actually your third storm, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's your. Did you after Hurricane Sandy? Hurricane Sandy was in New York when we were in New York when you were still a little baby. I mean, that was not so long. Well, you, you're eight now. You were like uh. I was like six or like maybe seven. Four or five, I think actually. You remember? You remember Hurricane Sandy? No, I remember Hurricane Sandy. It was pretty. That was, that was a pretty nasty one too. And Hurricane Matthew from last year, which it, was turned into a tropical storm by the time it got to us, it wasn't that bad. We still, we still, we still, we still went to stay at our in-laws, and we were safe there. We thank, we thank, we thank our in-laws, Nati and Angel, for protect, protecting us and letting us stay in their home. If you want to know who Lewis and Nally are, um, there's this podcast we're still hoping to do. And it's called Kids Talk. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still working on that. We have to get everybody together to get get those episodes together and get yeah, them put on. This, but it's taking some time. Listen to the episode if you want to know who they are. So what do you know about hurricanes, Adrian? Um, I know that um, a hurricane starts like as like a storm. Like a, in, the, in, the, in the ocean, right? Yeah, it starts like a storm in the ocean. But you know, actually, storm, those hurricanes start, Um, they start from a... The equator. Well, not the equator. In the middle, middle, middle of the pond. Yeah, they started. They started the equator in warm water, and they and they form power, and they they they, they, they build the, the as they get towards us. It's like a spinning storm. Are they going storm. out of space? No, they they're not out of no. space. And the rotation of the of the the Earth uh, makes them go into the Earth and then. They don't start in outer space. They start. On, they start. On, they start. On, they start on the planet. But the rotation mm-hmm. of the Earth has some, has some has something to do with it. Yes. What else yeah, you know? The rotation of the Earth makes it faster, actually. Yeah, the warm water, and um, for everybody who thinks that climate and climate change is having any effect. And then that little hurricane forms with other clouds and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. It's terrible. It's terrible. the The keys were totally destroyed. Um, the island of Barbuda and the U.S. Virgin Islands were destroyed. 
Texas got flooded. Texas got flooded by Hurricane Harvey. We yeah. got lucky. Yeah, we're, we're lucky. Lucky. I was Thank really God scared. Was. I was really scared. But we got we came through it and we're okay now and everybody's home. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we haven't, we, haven't, we haven't been able to send agents to school because his school's without, without power. But he's pretty happy about that because he's, he's got no school for the week, right, Adrian? Got no school. Yeah. So you're home cool. chilling. Yeah. So. I try as much as I can to learn as much as a character that I wanna I wanna um, talk on the podcast. What character is that? Um, he's a he's a Sonic character. Oh, you're um, going Sonic again. His name is Methylus. He's completely new. This is from the game Sonic Forces, right? No. This is um this is from a, a like a there was like a Sonic something out a Sonic in a number I forgot that number but it was something. Oh, well you. you and next time. You go on you, you go on YouTube a lot and Adrian listens to theories about Sonic and Sonic Sonic Forces and where Sonic comes from, and uh, that's what that's what he did during the hurricane. He listens to a lot of theories and a lot of YouTube tracks, so he knows a lot about the um, the, the character Sonic. And I can't believe that uh, they actually have theory, theory, theory episodes about Sonic and Sonic characters on on YouTube. They have things about you, any everything you need on YouTube. So YouTube is pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, because I'm trying to learn more about Methless, and this is like I don't even know how to spell his name. That's all complicated. <laughs> he yeah. looks, he looks, um, actually a little similar to, um, a new character. Yeah. Remember what I character told is that? about Infinite? Oh, yeah, Infinite, right. What's the Sonic Forces? Yeah, from Sonic Forces. He looks um, oddly similar. I think they might be related or something like that. And then they both got like inspirited. Well, let's, 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 let's get back to the hurricane. Um, how did you feel when the, when the hurricane was, was, was going on? Did you feel it? Did you, did you hear the wind? Did you hear the, the noise oh, in the, in the, in the yeah, outside? Yeah, when it got really quiet and we were all sleeping, I heard it. I was listening. I actually looked out the window. I saw the trees like sh- like going like yeah, I rattling. Yeah, I saw the window, like the window, like um the semicircle one. Yeah. I I was looking at that for a uh, for uh, um time to time, and I saw like I saw like um like shadows like going like that. Yeah, it was nutty. It was nutty. A lot of trees falling down, and there's a lot of. Uh, I was scared. It was scary. It was pretty scary. I, I couldn't sleep for a long time because it, 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 it took it took a while to fall asleep. Yeah, me too. And it's not easy falling asleep on an air mattress. Air mattresses aren't the most comfortable. But thank God we had a thank God we had a place to sleep, so you can't you can't go wrong with that, right? Uh, air mattresses. I fall asleep a lot. On air I know one thing I had to do. I had to search for water for a couple of days. It was hard to find water because every, every every water was selling out everywhere. Everybody was buying uh, extra water. Yeah, at one point the only water he could find was flavored. And I had to wait online for like three hours for sandbags. Which was um worthwhile because um we almost got flooded here in our own home. Yeah. Our, our back porch was full of water. Yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah, because there's a lot of rain. So when the rain comes, it causes uh flooding. And the sandbags got soaked. They were soaked. They were completely soaked. But thank God we had them because if if they, if we didn't have sandbags, the, the water would have gotten got into our house, and our covers would have got soaked. How do waters get into into so thin places? Well, it's not that thin. We 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 have a patio here with um with a little enclosure. And the enclosure doesn't really protect against the rain, so if it rains a lot, it's because the water is going to come through, and it's going to flood. So it's pretty. Um, but how sandbags help? Sandbags soak up the water. They soak up the water, and there's sand inside. Yeah, the sand sand soaks up the water, it prevents it from flooding. Well, because dry sand turns into wet sand, and it gets wet. Exactly. Makes sense. Makes sense. So anyway, we just wanted to make this short podcast. Let everybody know we were, we were okay and everything is okay and that um we got through the hurricane okay and um thank God for our um family and friends and um everybody in Florida is fine and we love you all and and remember we're still working on kids talk we're still working on kids talk exactly so look for us on YouTube and um like and subscribe if you, if you enjoyed this podcast and we'll see you ne- next time bye bye bye.